This excerpt was taken from a Full and Bloom interview with vocalist Tony Harnell. Subscribe to our channel if you'd like to be notified as new excerpts are uploaded. To listen to the full-length interview, click the link in the description. What about the um, Seven Seas, the video? Anything stand out from that video shoot? It was uh, really, really hot. Um, it was done in a sound, uh, a sound stage in New York City. They had these uh, big, huge, uh, empty... Um, buildings that were like on piers that went out into the Hudson River where they did a lot of these things and they set up all this stuff and I just remember it was um it just all seemed it you know what it did it seemed a bit like a dream a lot of it just seemed kind of unreal and I know I was there because I'm I was there but at the same time uh you know when I look back on a lot of it I I kind of think man I wish I was kind of there a little more like in my head you know in my and, and was paying attention to what was really going on because I think it was all just so unreal. I'm assuming with the album, it's already, um, you did it over there, so there's really no yeah. album budget from the label. It's all been paid for, and you present a finished product to the label? Yeah, that was kind of the beauty of it, was the the, the album was done, uh, Nice of the New Thunder was done for like $15,000 or something crazy. So the deal we were able to get in the States was a, kind of a big deal. So they were, <clears throat> you know, we got obviously an advance, which we were able to use for various things and, and the video and, um, well, they paid for that separately as of course. Um, but, uh, but actually we, we ended up staying in a house in Long Island for a couple of months writing part of most of Telmo Tales. So that was the first record. That was the first time Ronnie and I sat down and just started to write songs together. So that budget, um, Normally, a band would get signed and they'd go make their first record. But since we got signed off of the finished first record and we'd already done quite a bit of shows, for some reason, they decided instead of putting us out on tour in the U.S., which in retrospect probably would have been a cool thing to do and, and delayed some of the other things we did. But instead of that, they, uh, they put us um, to work writing the next record. So the video for Seven Seas was really, we did maybe a couple of shows low-key but around New York. But um, the video was really the only thing that we did in the U.S. to promote Nights of the New Thunder. We didn't tour. We just started writing the next album and then went, to the, went back to the studio and started recording. Tour. 